Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Eric with American Business Systems. And I want to be the first to welcome you here this afternoon to our webinar that we're going to have this afternoon. Folks, what we're going to do, talk, talking to you about this afternoon is about, you know, we all know that starting a new business can be difficult. You've got a lot of road bumps that you might fall into, but we know that it can be hard work to get that going. But what we're going to talk about today is learn how to make that work profitable. So Patrick and I are going to take you on a journey this afternoon with the, the webinar and kind of go through about four or five steps this afternoon to kind of explain some of the things what we do here at ABS to help that that uh, hard work turn to easy, a little bit easier work and also to make it profitable. So we want to first of all welcome you here this afternoon. I'm going to turn over to look at some of those folks that are joining us. So I see some of the names there. I see Bruce and Carl and Elmer and Justin and Rosalind, good to see you, and Sheila, and Young, good to see everybody so far, and uh, we've got some more folks that are coming in here, here. Uh, but let's get started this afternoon. We've got a lot of information we want to try to cover within the next uh, hour, so I hope that you come prepared and ready to get a lot of information this afternoon. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Eric Oje. I'm the Director of Research and Development here at American Business Systems, and we'll be co-hosting this afternoon with Patrick Phillips. Let me share a little bit about some of the information, just a little housekeeping information as we kind of go through this afternoon. And that is, first of all, I want to make sure that we're being heard. Now, Patrick and I tested out our sound, and we make sure that we're hearing each other, And but uh, we want to make sure that you're hearing us. So if you don't mind, if you'll go over in the question box area, and just type in your name. That's all you need to type in is your name, and I'll see that, and then uh, tell you thank you for doing that, just to kind of help us out here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my questions. There we go. Rosalind, good to see you. Thank you, Bruce, Carl, Sheila. Uh, there's some other folks there. Come on, everybody, let's go do that. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. All right, so let's get started with our webinar, and uh, let's talk about American Business Systems. Uh, okay, Patrick says I'm a little bit too close to the microphone. I got a brand new mic and I'm going to back off just a tad here uh, and uh, hopefully we get a little bit better sound. Okay, thanks. Uh, American Business Systems has been around for 25 years, so if you're looking for stability, this is one of the places to look into as you're looking for a new business. Uh, obviously, you can go into our website, but from there, that'll get you into a uh, a, a portal that will actually get you to dig in a little bit deeper. Uh, you're going to find out in that, that other portal about what's included and how much you can make and how to get clients, learn how to, can I learn how to do billing and what are my next steps? And some of the next steps are those that are I'm showing you here on our screen. It's going to show you your due diligence process. Uh, Meet your business coach. It's going to be one of our business coaches here at American Business System that you're probably already talking to. Then you're going to, you can request or download right there an ABS research guide. So check that out. Now, for those that are on here live this afternoon, you know you can watch the live webinars or watch the recorded webinars. Then you can speak with some of the other licensees, those that have already been through the training, gotten doctors and want to kind of know what their experience is. You can certainly do that. Then set up for a live system demonstration. That will be an incredible help for you. And then finally, do all your funding and again get here to the live training. And we've got a live training coming up pretty soon, and I'll show you those dates there. But when we're talking about the the uh, webinar the, or the live demo, this is what we're talking about with the EMRX and the iClaim demonstration. It's kind of like understanding and test driving a car before you actually end up buying it. So if you'd like for us to show that to you, get with your business coach and we'll be very glad to help you with that. Along with your due diligence, you want to check out the Better Business Bureau, where we still have an A-plus rating, so you can go check us out there. And then if you'd like to, come on by and visit with us. Our, we are located at 5751 Kroger Drive here in Fort Worth, Texas, so please check us out. If you'd like to come on by, just get with your business coach that you're working with, and we'll certainly arrange a uh, time for you to come on out. Now, I just mentioned to you just a moment ago that we do have a live training workshop coming up in just a couple of weeks now. It'll be July the 22nd through the 26th here in Dallas. Uh, if you'd like some more information about this particular class that we have coming up, we just had one, seems like we just had one last week, but it was just a actually a couple of weeks ago here in June. And now we've got this one starting up here in July. Now, the reason why this one in July is important because our next one is not until the beginning of the fall. There is, we get into September. So if you're looking 
forward to get started here, this is one of those ones you want to get into. So you can get into the last six months of the year to kind of get some things kicked off. Now, I mentioned to you that I'll be co-hosting with Patrick Phillips, who is the founder and the CEO of American Business Systems. He and his family started this, like I said, over 25 years ago. He has written, written several books, one in the middle called, called The New Thriving Medical Practice, we're actually going to talk about that in the webinar today. So we're going to kind of go over that and talk with you about how that book specifically is very important to your marketing campaigns that we're going to be teaching you about. And he's also a, a member of the editorial board for the Billing and Coding Advantage magazine. And I tell you, without any further ado, I'm going to ask Patrick to pop on on here along with the video as we do that. I'll also let you know that we've got a handout that we're going to show you over in the handout area. Patrick, it's good to see you, sir. Thank you. Hey, you know what? People who come to these webinars are looking to start some kind of business. And folks, we know there's lots of choices out there. Uh, gosh, if you go to the franchise sites, there's <laughs> hundreds of them. And uh, we just think that ours is a, uh, a great choice for people. Some th people think of it as a home business opportunity. But Eric, we've got licensees that have several offices in several cities, don't we, with uh, dozens right. of employees and uh, hundreds, literally hundreds of clients. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we've got some that are in the hundreds, two hundreds, over 300 clients. So yeah, they have really grown this business. But you know, the majority of the folks that actually get into this business kind of like to stay within that five to 10 doctors. It kind of uh, lets their them and their families work together and then they don't have to ha actually have other employees. Well, that's the great thing is that it really is flexible enough to where you can keep it as small as you want or build it as big as you want. You bet. So Patrick, I thought what we'd do today, uh, we've talked about, you know, starting business, a new business is m difficult enough. I mean, we know that there's a lot of things that need to go into that. You got to think of your marketing and then your marketing material and then training. And if you're going to do a specific type of business, you got to go through all of that. Our package has everything included that is going to make someone to get off on the right foot. So we thought we would talk about these four things this afternoon, uh, the things that are going to make you profitable. Don't reinvent the wheel. Uh, have something, a different type of service than anybody else has, have out there. Uh, your training, you got to know what you got to know uh, to get involved in any business. And then get removing that fear of failure. And Patrick, I know that's kind of dear to you because you wrote a book on that, uh, that we're going to briefly talk about this afternoon. So yeah and, yeah, and these things apply to any business, folks. It's not just ours. Uh, for example, don't reinvent the wheel. That's pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people try to do that. Now, if you were going to open a sandwich shop, you probably wouldn't try to reinvent the wheel. You'd you know find a, a you know one of those that are out there as a franchise and buy that because it's a it's a system. Well, that's why we call ourselves American Business Systems, is because after 25 years, we've kind of got it down, don't we, Eric? You bet. You bet. Well, I think let's just get started in here. And it's, let me remind folks that over in the question box where you put your name in, uh, take the next 50 minutes that we have together and type in some questions. So if we get to a point that uh, you got, man, can you explain that a little bit deeper or can you answer this particular question? Feel free to do that. First of all, Patrick, let's talk about let's not reinvent the wheel. Now, real briefly, you and your wife and your, basically your entire family you guys have been doing medical billing for over 25 years. And yeah, the, the yeah large, back in the, it was the yeah. late 80s, I think, when Linda got her first client. And uh, we started really small out of our home. And uh, we, we started growing so fast and so uh, prosperous for us as a family, Eric, that we actually had some of our relatives asking us, now, what are y'all doing on the side, you know? Is it illegal? <laughs> because we yeah. were buying a new home and some new cars and, you know, it, it got ridiculous because they never saw us leave the house. I mean, we, we worked literally from our spare bedroom at first. Well, again, you, you but you and Linda, you learned a lot about doing the, some of the things that you guys probably were not just reinventing wheel, but actually creating the wheel <laughs> as you kind of got started here. And so some of the things we want to the, the, the business package that we have now are from a lot of things that trial and error that you and others have helped us with kind of create what we have today. Yeah, many of these are services, folks, that you can offer. Uh, in addition to the medical billing that you'll do for the doctor, you can offer him an electronic medical record system that's cloud-based, uh, that's the most advanced and award-winning uh, EMR that's out there. Uh, but you also have all these other services. Now, 
Eric, it's funny because those services, we didn't have any of those, of course, when my wife and I started, but we began to add things to it as we had doctors ask us. You know, they would ask us about uh, a coding. Uh, do you have somebody that's a certified coder? And so we made alliances and partnerships with other companies who offered services that the doctors needed. And all of these are explained on our website. Of course, we don't have time today to go through all of these, but believe me, folks, every one of those is something that you can offer. It's it's optional. You don't have to, but it's all included. We don't have uh, pieces that you can buy of our business package. It's all one package. You need everything in it to be successful, and so we don't break it down into little pieces. Right. And one of the not only do we have things like that, like the iClaim and EMRX and the coding and all the other aspects of it, but there's also some some other nuggets that we're going to just tell you to stick to the plan, and, and that's what I want to show you right here because some of these, Patrick, you've, you've told people don't change what you've learned in training, and that would be with the coaching or the marketing, the training, the support, the proposals, the contracts, all the tools. Just kind of stick with the plan and, and just let the plan work. Yeah, that's because uh, we have figured it out. We kind of, after 25 years, we ought to know what we're doing, right? And when people deviate from our plan and do what they think, you know, maybe they've got some background in business or background in marketing or sales, and they think that they know how to market this and they'll go out and do things uh, that they shouldn't right. and uh, <laughs> they change it. And those are the people who are not as successful as the ones that just follow our step-by-step -step system. We've laid it out for people uh, so that we basically just hold your hand till you're yeah. successful. It, it reminds me of last year. I um, I tried to do something a little differently by planting a garden. I thought I'm, I'm going to try something different than most what most people do. And then this and I, and I did not have a great success. This year I kind of went back to what the old standby of putting a garden, and I've got more vegetables than I can give away at this point. So it kind of just goes back to the same thing. If you've got a plan, it's been working, try not to reinvent the wheel and go out there and do that. So let's first of all, first of all talk about some of the marketing uh, pieces that we have here and then some of the marketing campaigns that we've got, Patrick. And this is part that you teach in our, our live training workshop. Yeah, Eric, the marketing is so important for something like this. People People could do what Linda and I did and start their own medical billing business. It's not uh, rocket science. There's lots of different software packages out there that you could get. And if you can make the right alliances and know how to set it up with the carrying houses and so forth, you could do that. But you'd still just be, uh, you know, somebody with software on your computer. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a business until you get clients. And so marketing, believe me, if folks on this webinar want to know how not to market and what not to spend money on, I can tell them because I wasted a lot of money and time trying to figure that out. Now, after again, 25 years, we kind of got that down to a fine art. We have licensees who teach our training workshops for us who are out there in the field testing these things themselves in their own business. And uh, we've spent, I guess, uh, more than $100,000, I know, on developing the marketing tools that we have for our licensees. So yeah. yes, you could do it on your own, but you'd be re reinventing the wheel. <laughs> yeah. And what about train, Patrick? I know let's, let's talk briefly the uniqueness of our train because it's kind of like we do it old fashioned. We actually have a classroom. Uh, we know that you, anybody can really learn anything online now, but really yeah. nothing places this classroom training. You know, I really ought to get another picture for that one of me standing there because I don't wear ties anymore. <laughs> I'm just at the point in life where it just doesn't make any sense, especially here in Texas, you know. But anyway, the point is that I, I do teach some of these sessions on uh, the marketing section because, folks, it's nothing, you can't get this uh, like through the mail. This is not a mail order learning thing. It's not a course you can take. Uh, it's better in person. As you see there in the middle picture, there is a trainer that we bring in that is a licensee who's actually teaching from their own experience in the real world. And then other pieces, uh, parts of my staff, like you, Eric, of course, get involved in the training as well during that week because right. we want to make this an interactive, real hands-on session. We bring in laptops the first day, so people are actually doing the medical billing using our software through the cloud, just like they would be at home or an office. And so the point is that 
you can't duplicate this by just somebody getting on the phone and uh, maybe going through some things with you. You, you have to experience it to, to, to understand what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, you've got the support. And again, when you're trying to go out on your own or you're trying to do it, we already, again, like we mentioned, trying to start a business is, is difficult enough without the yeah. training, without some of the marketing materials. And then it's the support that you need. And this support on our licensee support site, folks, is where you can go download your contracts, the proposals, your uh, practice analysis, and then have training modules for each one of those just in case you need to remember how to do it. So like if you're going to write your proposal, we already have a video, uh, a reminder video of what you're going to need to do to go through that. So this licensee support site is there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year, so that if you need something very specific and kind of go back over some training, you've got it with our licensee support site. Patrick, you want to add anything to that? Yeah, we have uh, we have about 26 different sessions that we go through during that week of training here in Dallas. It starts on Monday morning, by the way. You fly in on Sunday and stay there at the hotel where we do the training. You come into the classroom on Monday morning, 8 o'clock. You're there all day long. And uh, Eric, we've had people look at the their watches at the end of the first day and say, wait a minute, is this over already? It's, it's hard to believe because you'd think this was kind of dull material, but we make it so exciting and so new and fresh that people are really, and there's no hype in this. We don't jump up on the tables and rah-rah that we're not trying to resell you anything during this week or pump you up uh, in any way. All we want to do is share with you all the details that you need to know to get out there and get your first client. Because as you know, Eric, we, we make money as a company uh, right. for all the, all the processing that goes through our system. And so we're sincerely interested in people's uh, success. That's why at one time we only had a, a year's support and then we extended it to two years. And at one point I just brought everybody in and I said, guys, we're going to go to lifetime support. And right. somebody said, what does that mean? And how can you do that? Well, we're making money on everything on the back end. So why wouldn't we support them? As long as they're bringing in uh, business for us, everybody's making money. That's the American way. And so we extended that to literally lifetime. There's no, no renewals, no up, up subscriptions. You never have to pay for any support ever from ABS. In fact, you don't pay us anything once you've gone through the training. We, we don't have anything to sell. Right. It's all, everything's included and there's no, uh, let's, uh, let's sell them this or let's sell them a little extra of this. It's all, all to get there right. together. And which, including, you know, the demonstrations. Now folks, let's, let me kind of explain this because first of all, if you haven't seen a live demonstration of our software to this point, go get with your business coach and say, I want one of those demos for me. But what's gonna happen here is that you're gonna learn and experience very much similar to what's gonna happen when you have a client or proposed client, and then ABS is actually doing the demonstration for you to help you win that business. And Patrick, again, our closing ratio, once we get someone to these demos, is really about 50%. Yeah, now let this sink in for you folks. Think about this. Eric, we should be charging uh, a license fee of $27,000 just for these demos yeah. because we literally, once you are taught how to get the practice analysis done with the office manager and get the doctor on one of our live demos, our people here, our staff actually get online using GoToMeeting, just like we're using here today, GoToWebinar. And we, we show them step-by-step -step live in our system exactly what they need to see to help them make the decision to go with you uh, as doing their medical billing. And, and they're blown away, Eric. I've been on some of these demos and I've heard the doctors just kind of go, wow. I mean, you can hear them gasping sometimes at some of the stuff that we show them because we really do have the bleeding edge of, of technology that's out there. They, they've never seen, never seen anything like it. Well, I was I was on one last week. I, I did one for one of our licensees. I, there was some of the, all of the trainers were, or the demo people were already booked and we had to get one squeezed in there. And so I did one last week and uh, it went very well. I mean, to, to the point where the doctor's going, let's meet again and let's bring, when you come back, let's bring a contract so we can review it. So that's where this helps and leads you. There's where you're finding a lot of the value. And, and that's why we'd say, 
at the beginning here to make this profitable stick to the plan that we've talked about here so far and we again here are the contracts we already have those all ready to go and and again this is one of those other parts of the abs that you and abs has spent money on to prepare contracts for our licensees that have been truly written by attorneys Eric, I was just glancing here at the the question box. There are some questions coming in already there. Uh, one of them there uh, by Bruce, you might want to address that one. But let me just say this, folks, if you if you haven't found the question box yet and at least typed something in there, this is a live webinar today. Uh, sure. we, we saw uh, Rosalind and Bruce and Carl and Sheila, I think, uh, at first type their name in. But gosh, we've got a lot of people on here today that have never even said anything to us in the question box. So folks, at least put your, where, your city and state that you're there or something will acknowledge that you uh, have uh, responded and use that time today to ask us questions, anything that you want about anything that we're talking about. So we were talking about the contracts, but I'll, let me answer this question here for Bruce. Bruce, you've got uh, your wife who says she's an RN and a licensed uh, home healthcare coder. Uh, we were curious if the coding software that is offered will be capable or, or compatible with home healthcare coding. And the answer is yes, because what we use with our coding uh, ancillary service there are with certified professional coders that can code from any field uh, there for the doctors, whether it's home health care or surgical or whatever else it might be. Now, what's inside of the iClaim platform, there are codes in there that are specific. And uh, so some of those co codes are going to be in there for those doctors as they're doing their, seeing their patients, all of those codes in there in the iClaim platform as well. So all of all of that's uh, part of the, in the entire system. Uh, we did get one more person to say, uh, say hello. That's Tom. Thomas, thank you for uh, putting your name in there. And Patrick, yeah, I'm, really, I'm, I'm disappointed because I see Daniel, I see <laughs> Elmer, Ethan, Justin, Leticia. See, I'm calling people out here because I know you're there and I know you're listening to us. Hopefully, you're not watching cat videos over there on YouTube while we're doing this webinar. We've got some important stuff here to share with you. If you are tired of working for somebody else, folks, this is what you should be paying attention to because now's the time to get involved in this. Look, there is no better future in any business that's out there uh, like there is in healthcare. Healthcare is one fifth of the entire economy. And it's not going away as long as there's human beings who get sick, who go to the doctor. The doctor has to get paid. Somebody's got to pay them. This is booming right now like we've never seen before. Thank you, Bruce. He's from <laughs> Hattiesburg, Mississippi. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you, sir. I got one of them uh, awakened. <laughs> yeah, so we've got uh, the, oh, I was going, I was trying to click backwards there. So when we're looking at, at sticking to the plan here, folks, again, we've got the contacts, we've got the proposals, and we have the tools. So we're showing you some real big differences of some of the tools that we have. If you can see on the, on the left hand side, we actually have trade show booths. So if you're going to end up doing a trade show and you would like to, to utilize this, uh, you request that from support and we ship that to you. Uh, you don't even rent it from us as part of uh, what you what you can get here to go use. We just pay for the shipping back and forth, but uh, you're able to use these tools. And then Patrick, we mentioned earlier about the book, The New Thriving Medical Practice. I know we're going to maybe talk a little bit more about that towards the end, but you know, this is a special tool, met, uh, a, a marketing tool that is very specific to our industry because, gosh, it's written by a doctor and by you. Yeah, imagine, folks, what it would take for you to align yourself with a doctor and then uh, publish a book. Uh, and, and then, of course, you couldn't afford me, uh, so that leaves me out of the picture completely. <laughs> and, hey, the, the thing about this book is that it's a marketing tool for you to give to doctors. We teach you how to market up in a certain way so the doctors get it, they glance at it, they look through these little things you've highlighted, and they call you up and say, hey, come do that practice analysis, because that's what we tell them to do in the book. Your name can be on the cover, which we'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, actually, we're kind of showing a little bit about that right now. You can see that there's a forward by someone that has CMRM, that's the Certified Medical Revenue Manager. We've got Susan Smith. Who's a fictitious character right now, but that could be you. That could be your name on there, and that's part of one of the tools that you get 
right here as we're kind of showing that to you right now. Your name actually goes on the front of the book with Patrick and Phillips and uh, Dr. Vicki Rackner. Yeah, folks, this gives you huge credibility. There's a question here from uh, Madhuri says, hi, if you're demoing the software, how do we convince our customers that we are good to give them the contract and to do the work for them? I, I'm assuming that's what he's asking. Well, that's the thing is you don't have the, the credibility that we have as a company. You're going to position yourself as having opened a local office of the nation's largest network of medical revenue managers. We certify you as a medical revenue manager. And folks, that means that at that point, you've got huge credibility you wouldn't have otherwise, especially with your name on the cover there with uh, me and Dr. Vicki Ragnar. Don's asking a question, do the clients want to negotiate the service agreement to change anything of the wording? If so, do we have your team to help us uh, or, uh, so we don't agree to do <laughs> to something we shouldn't do? Good question, yes. Don. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what our support team is all about, folks. We have over a hundred people in our support team nationwide, uh, and you know what? We, we're kind of more like a virtual company, I guess you'd call it, Eric, because the staff here in uh, Fort Worth is not that huge, but we've got huge offices of staff all over the country that are willing to help people. And one right. of the things we do is we look at that proposal that you've done for the doctor, and we give you recommendations on that. So yes. We even have the agreements all in Word format so that you can change them any way you want to if you need to and pass that by us. And we'll tell you whether or not you're doing the right thing or not. And folks, if you can see here, we're still talking about not reinventing the wheel. We're talking about sticking to the plan. And one of those other plans is when you feel like you kind of get bogged down or you just need some extra help, call ABS. We've got people that can actually coach you. And these, these are folks that are already ABS licensees. Patrick, you want to kind of, again, explain that? You kind of explained it a little bit with the virtual uh, office here that we have, but these are other licensees that are actually helping uh, other folks. Yes, and folks, you too could be a coach at some point down the line. We certify these folks that have actually proven to us that they can build a business and we get them involved. And yes, we pay them to do coaching for you. So it's like having somebody hold your hand and answer all your questions that's actually in the business themselves. Uh, so it doesn't get any better than this, folks. We've got uh, not just these four uh, group of folks that you see here, but we've got uh, dozens of people across the nation, coast to coast, that can help you build your business exactly what you need to get your first client. You bet. Uh, folks, if you'll look at your clock already, we are already at the bottom of the hour, if you can believe it. And we've only, again, covered one of the four things that we want to talk with you about. But before we go on, I want to talk about what Justin's question is, because Justin, you're asking one of the most important questions. And what is the best way to find a doctor for my very first client? And again, that's done in that training workshop. And we can go all the way back uh, over to, let me get, let me grab that that slide here just real quickly. And I'm gonna show that up here on our screen if I can get the little spin ball to, to stop here for a moment. <laughs> there we go. Oh, sometimes these things are so fun that with the uh, getting getting back to one thing to the other. Uh, there we go, there we go. So just if you'll see here, we've got all these different services. The main two things that we have or the core parts of, of the business is iClaim and EMRX. The iClaim is what you do the billing from and the uh, electronic medical records, which is EMRX, that's what the doctors use. But all these other services are used to help you get in the door and sometimes just get yourself in the door is the biggest thing you need. Patrick, you and I have kind of been talking about that here recently, that a lot of times somebody that comes through our training, they think the first thing that they need is a client. But what we know is one of the first things they need are leads that can be converted into clients. And that's right. one of those steps where I think that's what we're we're good at doing. And one of the ones that you know that you and I have you've heard me talk about is about compliancy. Patrick, there is not a doctor out there that might not be concerned about their HIPAA compliance. And so that one right there, Justin, is a great door opener to start building some trust with these doctors right off the bat. Yeah, because sometimes all you want to do is just open the door and they may think that their billing is under control. You know, doctors are either outsourcing now to another company like you, or they're doing it themselves with their own staff inside their own office. 
And for some reason, our licensees are signing those doctors up every single day of the, of the week. How is that possible? Because of the way we approach them. And one of the ways, like Eric said, is by touching their hot spots. One of the things they're really concerned about is are they compliant with the HIPAA rules and regulations? Because they can get fined thousands of dollars, Eric, yes. for you know not following the rules for patient privacy. Uh, right. One doctor recently had his laptop stolen and had all of his patient data on there. They can get fined up to a quarter of a million dollars per infraction. Yeah. So yeah. they're very worried about that. And this service helps you get in the door and talk to them about that. Yeah. All right. So one of the other things to get you profitable is to make sure that you don't have just the same service or that you have a different service. And what we mean by that, you've got to have something that's different out in the marketplace. You can't just look like everybody else. And Patrick has mentioned that our I claim that our medical billing platform is really one of the only ones out there in the market that is a true web-based system. And it has some very key components to it. So what you've got to do, you've got to separate yourself from all others out there in the marketplace. Patrick, do you want to kind of talk about, you know, why ABS made this change? Oh, man, I guess it was about five, six, seven, eight years ago when we were kind of doing some things that had similar web-based, that looked like web-based, but really wasn't web-based. Now we're fully web-based. Yeah, in fact, when we started out, Eric, believe it or not, we actually had software that was on a CD and folks would actually install that medical billing software on their computer. Now, imagine having all the patient data residing on your computer. Talk about HIPAA rules and regulations you could be breaking. Uh, it, it's not safe. Somebody steals your computer or it, it crashes and you've lost all that. Well, with a cloud-based system, ours is based on a technology that's made for today. Folks, in fact, it was designed to fit the I iPad uh, before the iPad even came out. It first was designed to fit the iPhone, and we knew that by just resizing it, of course, it would fit the iPad. So folks, we're way ahead of technology here. Wait till you see the demo that you yourself should ask for from uh, whoever invited you to this webinar from our office. Just say, I wanna see the demo of the software. I wanna see it for myself. And that way you can ask all the questions you want you'll be blown away at how high tech it is. You bet, absolutely. And, and, and when we say that we have a complete system, those that may have had some medical background, you may have been heard about medical billing and electronic medical records, and maybe some of you might be even on the webinar today that have even may have heard of what's called a clearinghouse. And many of us, we kind of know what a patient portal is because we've gone to the doctor and maybe our doctor has a patient portal. Typically, folks, what you'll see if you go, when you kind of get behind past the glass, as Patrick would say, and you start diving into what's really operating in that doctor's office, you're going to find that the doctor's office may have one piece of software for iClaim or for their practice management. They may have another one for their electronic re medical records. Then they have to get tied into a specific clearinghouse that's still third party. And then hopefully that electronic medical records has somewhat of a patient medical records platform for their patients. And Eric, so, I, I think you could illustrate that with that next slide, but I, you may be paused. No. Oh, yes, you're correct. I am paused. Thank you. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see this here. What I was talking about, all of this is all taken care of right here together. And so, folks, when you've got a complete system, as we're looking at right here, your practice management, your electronic medical records, the clearinghouse and the patient medical records platform is all one piece of software. It's not dealing with other people or different companies. And if another company goes out or gets bought out, how am I going to work it with another system? Patrick, this is all one system. Yeah, and Eric, I know people find this hard to believe, but there are companies out there who still offer their software. Uh, it comes on a CD that you install on your computer, but there are other pieces. If you want their electronic health records, you're going to deal with another company that has an open source system that they plug into their uh, practice management system. Uh, they make you sign up with the clearinghouse and figure all that out on your own. And right. those clearinghouses may or may not have a low rejection rate like we do. Uh, they have a different software that's a patient portal that they plug everything into. It's just pieced together. And that's not what we have, folks. Ours literally, look, let me illustrate this way. You know that you can go with your laptop 
to McDonald's, right? And hook up to the Wi-Fi. All right. You could take a brand new laptop, brand new, right out of the box, open it up, set it up there in McDonald's and log into our system and start doing medical billing because it's totally cloud-based. There's no pieces of our software that are downloaded to your computer. There's no updates. All the codes are updated by us behind the scenes. So it's just like doing banking online. You log right. into the bank's website and you are there using their system. That's what our system is. And it's like Eric said, all, all written by the same programmers, all in the same room that we, you know, we open the door and throw in some pizzas every once in a while. And, and they're all in there programming all this stuff. You bet. And so I, we're going to kind of just take a look at all each one of these. So I claim is the billing slash what's called a practice management system. So this is where the whole practice can run their entire office. So the, from the scheduling to checking whether a patient actually has insurance, that's called insurance eligibility verification. All of that's done right here. And then whenever it's time to do the billing, the billing's done right through here as well. So iClaim is this, you can kind of think of it as it's the hub. It's, it's kind of what makes everything else work together because once you've got a doctor on that, then, then they can use the electronic medical record system. Now, we've got this blown up on a big computer, which again, Patrick, most of the doctors that are using this platform are using an iPad. We're just kind of having it illustrated here, but or our time, tablet. It, it can be Windows based this yeah. system as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It could be a, a ta any type of tablet, but it mainly any screen. I mean, if, even if a doctor has a laptop that they can touch on that screen, they can yeah. use this or they could type. It, it's not that they're, they're limited by just having some type of tablet either. So if the, some of the doctors want to go the old fashioned way where they're actually physically typing all that in there, they can do that too. But, there's the glue, here is the glue that keeps everything together. And this is what's going to drive down the rejection rates and then getting the doctors paid quicker. A lot of people ask, Patrick, how do we get these doctors paid quicker? How do we go through all of this? Imagine folks of having your software and then the, the engine that can get that claim directly to United Healthcare or to Medicare. Imagine you are also the owner of that. So guess what that gives us? It gives us real time billing. So we don't have to hook to any other clearinghouse. Our clearinghouse acts as a direct portal to every insurance company out there. It can catch problems way before they even reach those insurance. So we can make those corrections prior to submitting those claims to those payers. And this, this provides us, this is really what provides us the, our unique difference in the marketplace than any other billing service out there, simply because we can truly reduce those rejected claims and get those uh, reimbursements paid back to the doctor so much quicker. Patrick, this is it. This is uh, yeah, all this I, together. I don't think we've mentioned it on this webinar, but folks in other webinars, we've discussed the fact that most clearinghouses and most uh, software will have a huge rejection rate. In other words, uh, up to 30% uh, of, of claims that as they first go through a system are rejected. And the doctors usually don't deal with those. They let them stack up and then hopefully they write off some uh, at the end of the year. They would rather have the money in their bank account. In right. fact, we take that rejection rate, which is av on average about 34% nationwide and get that down to less than 2%. That's right, you heard me right, our system, is proven to get less than 2% rejection. That's because we, we are the clearinghouse. Yeah. And uh, so we make sure it gets through. Plus we get the money faster. Doctors have actually gotten their money. Eric, I think on average, it's around 10 to 14 days, but we've gotten it as, as little as five days. Literally on Monday, uh, the claim is filed. And on Friday, the, do the doctor has the money in their bank account. Yep. They love that, don't they? Absolutely. You know, it's, um... I've actually had doctors, when I've done some of these demos for some of our licensees, I've had doctors and their staff, especially their office manager, they'll ask, so who is your clearinghouse? Who, who, are you hooked up with uh, Trizetto? Or are you hooked up with uh, McKesson? Who, who? And I have to go, we, we're the clearinghouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how, what do you mean? We are the clearing, we, we don't have to hook into anybody, we are it. And the buck stops here, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So that really does kind of throw people off. And then lastly, even with on top of all of that, then you still have a patient portal. Now, this is unique 
because this will allow the patients to go directly and do all of their pay all of their uh, payments to the doctor directly through here if they need if they've got outstanding balances they can schedule an appointment through here they can actually do an appointment check-in from here imagine not having to fill in all that paperwork you could do all that before you leave and go to the, uh, to the doctor before you leave the home uh, request all your medication refills you can review all of your medical records so when your labs come back all of that message the doctor and then on even on top of that you can do what's called telemedicine patrick you want to kind of share a little bit about that part of it here it's, it's hard to explain, but folks, this is the future probably of medicine. 90% uh, of all the visits to doctors, there's no, uh, the doctor doesn't do anything examining wise. They're just sitting there talking to you anyway. So a lot of the things that are being done right now in medicine are done online through telemedicine. So basically, just like you see Eric and I here talking to one another, you're sitting and talking to the doctor online. I guess if you had a uh, a cut or something wrong with your hand, you could show it to him, just hold it up there to the camera. But the great thing is that this is the future because doctors are now able to bill for those visits. And so more and more of them are offering that. Now my doctor offers uh, a telephone call and it's just as expensive. I'd rather have something like this where I'm talking and feeling like I've got a connection with the doctor. Yeah, and at least talking back and forth with one another. So yeah. folks, it's all together. So. When, you're, when we're talking about being successful, we already, again, we already mentioned that starting a business is hard enough. What we're hopefully showing you that we're making it a little bit easier because we have, again, all the marketing, the training, everything that you're gonna need to kind of get things kicked off, but then, then you gotta deliver. Now we've got something that's deliverable out there in the marketplace that in and of itself is so different from anything else out there in the market. Yep. Okay, I'm waiting for questions here from uh, Lorenzo. Well, I know, I'm kind of looking for that as well. <laughs> so while we're doing that, maybe while we're at, waiting for some more questions, here's another illustration. So it, imagine that, again, starting over here to the left, you're the patient, you can put in all your information and it goes into the doctor's EMR system with us. Then from there, it goes into iClaim for you to do the billing and the clearinghouse is all done. And then getting to those insurance companies, that folks, as you can see that, just, just this one little picture here, you can see how all of this actually can be done in one day. You as the patient seeing the doctor and then that claim get to the insurance company the same day. Again, whenever I get to talk with doctors and share the demo with them, they've never seen anything quite like this. Uh, typically from the time that you see a patient or a doctor sees a patient to the time that it just gets to the insurance company could be three to five days. It could even be, you know, sometime next week before it even gets there. Uh, to, to get the, even that done. So, all right, uh, great. Sheila? There's a, there is a question from Sheila. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I saw it there. Okay, so she's saying that there's some feature that allows telemedicine through the system. Yes, it's the patient portal. Literally, you log into the patient portal and you may have one now with your doctor, but not like this one. And you make an appointment through that with the doctor for this telemedicine. And then at that time, you both get into that patient portal and have that discussion right there online through our system, that's right. It's all built in. You bet. Thank you, Sheila, for asking that question. Now, we've got two more to go out of our four, and that is just what you know and what maybe you don't know. And, you know, a lot of people, Patrick, will, will kind of think, well, you know what, if I just had a doctor ready to go, I think I'd spend that money and get to your training and everything would just be great. But the problem is you don't know what you don't know. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. So there, there are people who, uh, and some licensees have been successful talking to doctors before they come to our training. But folks, that question that you see there, can I pre-market to see if this would work for me? It won't work out for most people, Eric, because they don't know the answers. The doctor's gonna ask questions and you're gonna look kinda, the word's ignorant. <laughs> yeah. And so you're burning up, I love that. You're burning up all of your uh, hottest leads, your prospects that are out there before you come and learn what we are going to tell you to say. It's completely different from what you think it is. And just asking the doctor if they think they might be interested, well, they're going to ask you a, a hundred questions uh, that you won't know the answers to. That's right. And remember, folks, like I said just earlier, when you come into training, obviously your end goal is to get a client. We, we get that. But remember, what you need are leads. And if you go out there and try to pre-market with maybe some leads that you have, and then you don't have the, 
the, the knowledge to help back it up, and then you don't have the, the, the tools or the services there to back it up, you, you are burning up your greatest asset, leads. Patrick, I mean, we, we talk about leads and then following up with leads and getting leads to conversions to conversions to clients. And it really does all start with how do I build a leads list now, people can do that prior to coming to training. Just don't engage them until you've gone through training because, right. again, don't burn up the, the greatest asset that you have. Yeah, for, for example, one of the marketing uh, methods that we're going to teach you, we teach about a dozen different ways to market this. And one of them is to uh, you know work your warm market, the people that you know that know doctors and maybe doctors that you know. But all we just tell you is that it's it's better not to engage with them before you come because you know you may just blow those leads and not be able to get back to them because they already think they know what you're talking about or or they know that you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah there's no doubt you don't yeah and so one of the things we're going to teach you is is really what is revenue cycle management and when you start talking in the terms of revenue cycle management versus medical billing you got to remember the doctors if you walk in from the street and you talk about medical billing they're going to think that's all you do. But when you talk in terms of revenue cycle management, now you're talking a little bit differently. There's a little bit more professionalism to that. So you're going to learn all of that. You're going to learn everything you're going to need to know about the codes. What is CMS? What is ICD-10s? Which again, those are going to be increasing in October. The difference between Medicare, Medicaid, what are reimbursements? All of that, all of those terminologies you're going to learn. But then you got to learn the correct questions. Patrick, once you spend a little bit of time, because we're getting ready to kind of start wrapping things up here, but this is part of one of those tools that we kind of talked about earlier, but we kind of have it all laid out here by helping our brand new licensees go out there and ask the correct questions. Yeah, so, so on the left side here, you see our uh, patient analysis questionnaire. And folks, it's actually about four pages of questions that we teach you in the workshop exactly why we're asking the question, how to ask it, what answers you might expect, and why those are important, and how they tie into all of the services that you can offer. Uh, but the great thing is that once you've gone through that, we will also help you go back and create what's called a patient revenue report. Now, in this example that you see here, folks, I don't know if you can see that bottom line down there, but for this particular doctor, we're showing him that he can increase his uh, revenue by like 300, is that 321,000 there? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and, and now sometimes it's not that dramatic, but folks, the point is that this, this does all the selling for you because the doctor is just going to look at that bottom line and say, are you telling me that you can increase my revenue by you know, 300,000 or even if it's a hundred thousand dollars a year, that's nothing to sneeze at. Right. And so, yes, you can do that because our system has uh, looked at what his situation is now, what we can do for him. And there's the difference in black and white. Yeah. I've got three questions here. One from Rosalind, one from Justin and one from Bruce. And the funny thing is they're all asking about leads. <laughs> so, <laughs> How do you get in front of potential clients and, uh, yeah, do we offer the leads? And then are there companies that offer hot leads of doctors inquiring about billing services? Yeah. Well, you know, Bruce, if we had that list, uh, it wouldn't be $27,000 licensing fee. Believe me, it'd be $100,000. Now, there are lists of doctors that are out there, and we can show you how to narrow those down to the doctors that need your services. But believe me, remember, they're either doing it themselves with their own staff using their own software, or they've already outsourced it. So we're going to teach you how to overcome that uh, lack of inertia there, that lack of interest by getting the doctor to engage with you and getting referrals from people in your community that can introduce you to those doctors. So there is a method to it. There is a system to it. And if you follow that, you will get clients, folks. Again, we teach a dozen different ways. Now, this webinar is not specifically on how to do that, but Eric, we do webinars and have in the past, yeah. they're all recorded uh, on how to do that. So go yeah. back to our website, folks, go to the blog under the news section, and scroll down and just keep on scrolling. There's lots and lots of webinars that we've done that are all right there on our website. You bet. And folks, again, I think you understand, I think I may have struck that nerve there of how important a lead is and you don't wanna, again, go out there and just burn a lead because even if you were paying for leads out there, I mean, I mean, would you pay $1,000 for a lead? Would you pay 1,500 for a lead? You know, what, what would you do to, to actually buy what you would think of as a hot lead. 
And, and that's why we don't want you to go out there and go out there and just quickly go burn up a lead because if think about it, even if we gave you a lead right now that we knew that we paid $1,500 for, but yet you still don't know what you don't know, there, there would be, that would be $1,500 right down the, the tube for, yeah. for you or for anybody else. So, so, what, so uh, to answer the questions here, uh, Justin, you specifically ask, is there a, a lead that you can purchase from a trusted company? Yes, there are actual uh, doctor lists that are out there. Uh, now, again, they're not doctors who've said, we want you to do medical billing. We wouldn't need licensees all over the country if it were that easy, right? But we're going to teach you how to find those doctors in your area. Yeah. Uh, Justin also says he has a tech background. He says, can I uh, build my own website? Of course, Justin, we have licensees who who don't like our templates. We've got about a dozen templates you can pick from, but if, if you don't like it, just have at it and build your own any way you want to. It's your business. This is the great thing. It's not a franchise. So you, there are no limitations or rules or regulations you have to follow. It's your business. You do what you need to do to, to, to make it good. You bet. And folks, again, talking about what you know and what you don't know, is something that you don't have and you don't have the solution right off the bat. So, uh, and neither do you have the support. So you need the support in all of the things. So again, uh, before we move to that last little phrase here that we wanna talk about, remember we started off with, you know, you, you've you gotta have, don't go out there and reinvent the wheel. Uh, getting, starting a brand new business is difficult enough. We already have that. That's one of the things that you can kind of check off your list there. Uh, you have something different than anybody else has. You can just kind of check off that on, the, on your list. And then you have the training, the support, all the backing that you're going to need. And then the last thing is something that is between these two things right here and really what's inside of you. And a lot of us, the reason we fail so often is not because we don't have the right tools, the right marketing, the right training. We a lot of times fail because of our own fear of failure. Patrick, you want to kind of Let's kind of end up with this this afternoon. Yeah, you know, this fear of failure, folks, actually uh, undermines your ability to succeed because it's deep down inside your head and somehow you have to get past that, right? So, in fact, I talk about it, Eric, as if there's a, a, a this, this massive negative voice that's loud and unruly inside your head telling you that you're, uh, you know, too fat or you're too skinny or you're not smart enough, you're not educated enough, you don't have the right background, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is something that you have to deal with. And folks, we know that you've heard that before. You know, it's telling you you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not capable enough. Uh, and folks, we know how to overcome that. In fact, I wrote a book on exactly how to do that. And you'll get a copy of that book as one of our licensees. I actually talk about it in the training as well, because you can reprogram your brain for success not failure. And anyway, I don't want to go into detail about it, but I'm just saying, folks, there is a lot of information that you're going to get at that workshop that's way beyond just how to start a business. We're going to deal with those things that that cause people not to be successful in business. Well, well Patrick, I mean, you and I, uh, I mean, I, and I look at you, you've been very successful, but you know, it doesn't mean that we don't always have our own fear or fear of failure with something. But it's how we overcome those those negative thoughts in our heads or whatever it might be. And and so you really is, you, you wrote the book on how to pass through that and push on through that. So, you know, again, like I said, we may, you may have the, you may have the correct vehicle, the, what I would say the right wheel, <laughs> the correct wheel, the correct vehicle. You may have the right services. You may know exactly what to do, but Patrick, we've seen people that have all three of those but yet still fail simply because of themselves or maybe even what other people that they've listened to others and maybe believe what other people have said about. Yeah. Sometimes our, uh, our, our brother-in-law holds us back because you know what they say makes us think, well, uh, he doesn't think I can be successful. And so I'm not going to be successful probably. Hey, by the way, Don says, will you let us know uh, if we have an ABS licensee working in our area? Folks are sometimes worried about that, Eric. And even though we have licensees from coast to coast, this market is so huge, folks, that there's just no way you could ever tap into it. Let me give you an example. In the Dallas-Fort Worth area right here, you know, we, we do have some licensees that are out there in this area, but none of them have ever complained that they've run across another licensee. You know why? Because in this area, there's like 20,000 or more uh, medical providers. It's just too big, in other words. 
So Don, you've asked the question, can we go anywhere we think we're big enough to market our services? Yes, there's no territories. Your right. market is the entire United States. You bet. And that, that makes it easy because you'll have a doctor here locally that you sign up and they're thrilled with you. They'll tell a, a friend in another state. And so you'll want to sign that doctor up as well. So there are no restrictions like that anywhere. You, you've got the entire United States just go sign up all the doctors you want. You bet to go sign them all up. And there are millions of doctors and there's more doctors. And, and remember folks, there are a lot of doctors who are with groups or have been employees of hospitals that are leaving those because again, it, it wasn't what they were told it was going to be for them. And if you think about it, that's something even better for you and your healthcare of your community to get back engaged a doctor that is an independent doctor back in your healthcare system uh, within your community is the best thing that your community could, could ever have. And so sometimes you might wanna just be there just for those folks alone.